sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't know where my report is. John, close the door behind you. Ubi, what are you doing on the boss's desk? Naked. Waiting for you. Let's do it. Right here. Right now. What are you doing, Ubi? John, I've seen you looking at me for a long time now. And you know what? I like it too. So, are you ready? Ruby, I... I do like you, but... It's all... a bit too fast. Okay, John. You know, John, you missed the most passionate moment of your life. You can turn around. Whew. Okay, next on the list. Scratch the boss's car. Scratch what? Ruby, Ruby, stop! Ruby, stop! You can't scratch the boss's car, he'll fight you for sure! I don't give a damn! Why? I have cancer! What? Yes, that's why I want to do things I never dared to do before. Like, get back at our nasty boss. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. And I'm sorry for my life. I'm 35, I've had two cats, I haven't had a boyfriend in ages, and I haven't had intimacy even longer. I don't want to die a loser. I want to risk. Now, excuse me, I don't have much time. Ruby? What? What are you doing? Let me go! Do you want to take a risk? Fine, let me show you something. I was ready for death. But certainly not for crazy love. My name is Ruby, and this is my love story. Yeah! I could see why I always liked John. Behind the gray Clark suit, there was courage and passion, something I was certainly lacking in my life. Do you really think a sushi masterclass is risky? It's not sushi. It's the art of cutting out the most poisonous fish in the world. Ooh. Would you risk eating a piece of fogo fish? I'm not to be scared with stuff like that anymore. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Be careful! If this piece is poisonous, you won't even have a day to complete your amazing bucket list. Mmm! Wow! I'm starting to like you even more. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have anything else to surprise me with? John. <gasps> John is not funny. <clears throat> John! John! Miss Johnson, do you think that just because you have a terminal diagnosis you can drag anyone else into the afterlife? No, it's just... It's not just. It's a fugger fish. Is John gonna make it? I don't know. We can only pray for him. And by the way, for you too. My test results. What's that? I have no idea. Let's have a look at it. No, I'm not ready now. Can I go in to see John? such a risk. I just wanted to fill my days with some madness, just so I wouldn't have to think about the fact that you will die soon. I'm so scared, John. And I'm dragging you along with me. But all my life has been deadly boring. And what have you accomplished? Now you may not have to see the next morning. It was the best day of my life. Thanks to you, I did something unexpected, memorable. Although, no, there was another thing I didn't get it. What?
Hope you stay with me. Oh, with pleasure. <laughs> You're the most patient and adventurous woman I've ever met. And you're the top item of my bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> I realized this might be my last night with John. Odds were good that at least one of us wouldn't be around in the morning. But if we got lucky once, it might happen again. John? Where are you? John. Is this some kind of joke of yours? I don't understand anything. Is he gone? Never again in my life will I wear boring gray suits. And no more sugar structures. <laughs> You're alive. I thought I'd like to fool around with you on the boss's desk after all. Oh, <laughs> then we need to hurry up. Oh. Dr. Wilson said you got your results back. Why didn't you finally take a look at them? Maybe we shouldn't hurry anymore. Mm. No. I don't want to know how long I have left. A week, a month, maybe 50 years. I just want to leave and enjoy every moment with you. Well, then let's enjoy our life. And hope it lasts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Wilson, for everything. You shouldn't be afraid to take risks in life, especially when it comes to love. But be careful with the food of fish. Wow. She's gonna be fine. 